Hello, my name is Antonio Douglas, and uh, I desire to become a storyteller with a variety of mediums to deliver my message of the human condition um, and the invasion of fantasy elements um, in the stories that I tell. Um, my personal journey began at a young age, much like uh, the master's reference in the book Mastery by uh, Robert Greene. Um, my upbringing had a major role in finding my life's task. Uh, my, niche of, my niche wouldn't come until later um, after I attended Full State University's um, bachelor's degree program for creative writing. But I did find that screenwriting to be uh, to best fit my imagination as I had a flair for fusing fiction and um, metaphors. Um, on the insight, um, one insight I had would be um, uh, the return to your origin strategy brought up in the book Mastery, um, which was very interesting because I hadn't thought of my childhood as clarity, um, as a compass leading me to my passion. But after realizing it, I, uh, it was my imagination of the world around me as a child that made me more acceptable um, as a, a grown up uh, daydreamer, as my mother referred to it. Uh, meaning that my daily activities of daydreaming um, referred to um, in the book by Green is a proverbial um, inclination best recognized as a clear attraction um, that if not affected by others as me being drawn to being a master storyteller. Um, avoid the false path strategy. Um, I had familiar dealings with it, um, which made me actually want to go back to college and get a degree in writing, um, merely because I was working at a job that I wasn't happy at and I needed to uh, discover something more important than actual um, work ethics um, um, that my parents had prepared me for. Um, and so uh, I felt like I needed to expand my education further and I um, attended college for uh, mass communications but I found that that of course was not um, my chosen path. It was a wrong path for me. And I dropped out twice uh, on that path um, which only showed me that I didn't really need to be there. Um, occupying the perfect niche strategy uh, dealt, um, I had dealing with it, um, dealing with my choice of genre when it comes to my writings um, while I was attending Full Sail for my bachelors. Uh, there was a lot of writers out there doing what I did, but none of them really tell stories like I did. And I felt that the um, audience that they were presenting it to was probably wanting something a little bit different. And so um, urban fantasy was my choice of a narrower um, way of uh, writing. Occupying the perfect knits um, like I said, uh, dealt with urban fantasy. And so letting go of the past was another strategy that I had where I would have to deal with uh, going back to college for my bachelor's while maintaining a lifestyle, supporting my career in the workforce. Um, I had to change my entire routine and get back into uh, my life's task. Uh, this in turn made me more flexible and able to adapt to situations to reach, uh, to reach my overall goals. I'm finding my way back strategy um, from the book insights dealing with de um, dealing with my decision to become um, out of the workforce to become better than uh, my previous experience in the workforce of just custodial food service and acting, but um, for survival. But realizing that I wanted um, my my energy to go into becoming a master of storytelling, I realized it was more important. Um, my goal was uh, to settle for just survival as my family has been doing for years and nobody really attended college because education past high school wasn't deemed that important, um, unfortunately. Uh, but for me, uh, I wanted to uh, find my way back to my life's task, something that I've known I wanted to do since I was a child and, and finding my way back towards it really helped me identify it, um, and what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. Uh, my dream career path includes me graduating from Full Sail with my masters while interning at a promising production company to work myself up to staff writer on a television um, show or series. And the second is to have my fiction work published in a fiction section of The New Yorker as I regard it as the most respectable publication and my favorite. Um, and two weeks goal, um, one is to learn about mastery, uh, what I can do to ensure that I don't stray from my path leading to my life's task. And the two is to revive my ideas um, of what it is to write um, in, sele in my selective field um, with precision, purpose, and driven mastery.